Hey, this is Flo and welcome back to Advent of Packages. In this episode we will have a look at Subsonic, a new audio playing library by Paul Hudson, the person behind Hacking with Swift. Um, and this library is designed to play audio cohesively inside of Swift UI. So here you can see the GitHub page. It is, as always, linked in the video description. I have already created an example project here and I have also already added Subsonic as a package dependency via Swift Package Manager. The last thing that I did to prepare is add a sound file. It's just a thing sound. Yeah, so just a simple mp3 file that we will use to play some audio. So let's have a look at how this package works. So if you can see there are basically um, four different options how to use the package and we will cover the first and the second option in this video and then the other th other two will probably be pretty easy for you to follow as well. So the, the first option is just to play a sound one. So um, first of all we need to import subsonic and then in our content view let's just replace the text with a button saying play sound and then in here we can just call the global function play sound. We need to pass in a string of our file that we want to play, so in this case ding.mp3 ding.mp3 Let's run this and see how it works. Okay, so we now have a simple button here and if we hit that button, the ding.mp3 file will be played. Okay, so that's the easiest way, just play a sound file once. Then there is also another way where you can also stop the sound file and also control the volume. So for that there is the second option here where we have a state object for a subsonic player. So let's try that one out as well. So first of all let's add a state object. Let's make it a private variable and let's just call it sound player and this is just a subsonic player and we can once again just pass in the string name of the file that we want to play and then inside of our button we will just say sound player dot play and then let's uh, wrap this button in a v stack so we can add uh, some more buttons so the first one is to play and the second one will be to stop the sound that we can just call the stop function and then we can also adjust the volume of the sound for that we can just use a slider with a binding to sound player dot volume okay let's run this once again and see how it works Alright, so first of all here we have the slider where we can adjust the volume and then we have the play sound and stop sound buttons. So let me hit play sound and then stop sound real quick. Okay, and everything seems to work just fine. Alright, as I said there are also two different options. I will just briefly show them. So the first one is adding a view modifier to your view and then um, you can bind the is playing property to a state variable of your view and whenever you set that state variable to true then the sound will play and if you set it to false it will stop playing. This is also very handy, this is a very declarative way of doing it, very Swift UI-ish and then the last one is to handle everything yourself um, you need to prepare to play sounds and so on, so um, if you want to do that, I encourage you to check out the documentation on GitHub. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!